I'm gonna become freaking famous for what I do, you know? Okay, so now we duck low again and I'm going to try to uh, like explain to you a very hard concept at the same time as like crouching like this because my like other foot is constantly like sleeping, you know, under under the snow. So I'm going to go to the underworld again and it feels much safer over here. Uh, they say that uh, in the underworld, for example, the kind of it's really easy to lose your life over there. That the underworld is kind of dangerous, you know, there's criminals and, and drug types and all kinds of shit like that. But really, if you have the right weaponry, you know, which uh, like a Tommy gun or something, and you wear your fedora and you have some manners, you know, you'll survive in the underworld, no problem, you know. There's no, <laughs> there's no problem for you. <laughs> we'll keep you protected from this uh, snow, snowy time of the year. Just trust us, you know. And then we take some breaths over here and I'm already sweating it up a bit over here, but it don't matter, we are only wearing a 500 year old jacket, so if I get this wetted up, you know, it's not a problem. It just keeps, you know, those motherfuckers, you know, like far away from me, so they don't shoot me with their Tommy guns. <laughs> you know? Let's continue on our journey over oh, here. And yeah, you can say that this is like insanity. Just go buy some like winter shoes. But I'm gonna say that no, you know, this this <laughs> this is completely this is completely sane, you know. Like most of the people, you know, they wouldn't even dare to go out, out of their, you know, like doors <laughs> today. But I'm gonna become freaking famous for this, you know. I'm gonna become freaking famous for what I do, you know. That's my slide. One of the other ways that we can go over here in these dark times or these hard times is that we turn our body like this and go like this, a little bend in the knee like this and we go like this, it's almost the same thing but about, you know, half of the height it also kind of eases up this thing it's kind of a problematic situation when the government, you know, doesn't send any more support for us. So you have to understand that this is a triple challenge. Usually, you know, Finnish people, they buy these, you know, uh, clothes from Finnish uh, kind of stores because they think that they know how you should like go about your life in Finlandia, but it just makes them all like move and uh, like be in the same way. So you have to kind of use your creativity over here and choose that British brand. <laughs> now let's look at the snow over here. Yeah, the colors are not so great, but you know, it's just nature, you know, you have to go with what you got And if you got this you have to be a little bit more creative, you know Okay, this street feels pretty safe, you know, but I can feel it in my legs So this is not kind of a this is not really a viable solution for me to like go through the whole winter time, but yeah <laughs> I have to invent some invent something better better, you know, it's kind of one of those things that I, I, I looked at, you know, this manufacturer had made new shoes actually for the winter time, I think, and they had a very nice, you know, bottom, you know, grip on there, but they cost something like 800 euros, and they all already like sold my size, you know, to somebody else. I was kind of like bummed about that because it's very hard to actually kind of find uh, shoes that kind of would look like good with this outfit, you know. I probably have to uh, send this video to the Paul Smith manufacturer and kind of say to them, hey, you know, like in Finlandia yeah, these like shoes are pretty shitty, you know, of course these are not probably designed for this kind of winter time, but uh, it has to look good with these clothes, you know, I'm true to detective, otherwise, you know, it was, it doesn't, it's a, it doesn't fly, <laughs> you know, it doesn't fly.